Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Halloween. I am super late in this whole Halloween game. I underestimated my time management. I thought I was going to be able to upload a lot of Halloween videos, but as you can see, nagahabul na naman ako. Halloween is one of my favorite events every year because you get to be whatever you want to be. And every freaking year, I want to be Coraline Jones, not Caroline. It's Coraline. I'm gonna tell you more about the story of Coraline as we go through the whole makeup process. I was thinking, how can I be Coraline? Because I definitely can't do special effects. She's a cartoon character. I could, I could try, but it would probably take me forever to recreate her face. So I thought, why not make a Coraline inspired makeup? Before anything, I'm gonna start with Lux Organics Hydro Firming Mist because it's gonna be a long night. I've been obsessed about Coraline since 2010. It was after Jame and I got married and I discovered the movie and I loved it because I love the story, I love the character. I feel like I can identify so much with Coraline. JM got me the book one Christmas and I was happy. I definitely love the book as well. I can imagine Coraline walks around a lot. She's a kid, so I'm gonna start with below tinted sunscreen. Kahit na yung party mo esa gabi, you never know. Coraline has blue hair, which is why I love blue hair. I immediately feel like I'm Coraline. But no ba story ng Coraline? Coraline is this kid, blue haired kid. She's always very curious. She gets annoying. Mulang siya sa pansin ng parents niya. Her parents are very busy all the time. Dad's busy writing books. I think the mom is busy making flower gardens or parang. I'm actually not sure what the mom does. It's something about plants. Ano bang ginagawa ng mom niya? Parang, what do you call uh, like a landscape artist? Parang landscape artist yung mom niya. So they're always busy and they don't give enough attention kay Coraline. I'd like to show you the makeup that I'm going for. So it's this. This is the only photo of Coraline I found that has any kind of makeup. So as you can see, she has this brown smoky eye look, no lashes, and then she has like a dark brown lipstick. This magalagin na ako ng freckles. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna use Superstay 24 Full Coverage Foundation because if I'm gonna party, I have to make sure my base is great. Going back to Coraline, the first time kusha na panood, I was nuts over her. Ang kulit kulit kasi ng ugali niya. Wulang siya sa pansin sa parents niya, so she's always left alone. Coraline's dad had a new job in a new State. They had to move. They moved to this pink apartment. I think it was called pink apartment. Oh my god, fan na ni Coraline, but I don't know all the details. If there was a trivia night, I would suck at it. So they moved to this new place. It was a big apartment and it was shared by a couple of other characters. So that's there's Mr. Bobinski. He's this mice trainer. He seems like he's not good at it. And he's really weird. All the characters in Coraline are weird. So baba naman ng bahay nila Coraline. There's Miss Forcible and Miss Finks. Miss Finks, Miss Finks. Oh my god. Basan din sila sa baba. Dalawa silang parang artista when they were younger. I love that Coraline's brows are dark. I think they're black almost. I'm gonna go with black because you know I'm playing a character and that gives me an excuse. To go even darker with my brows. Even brows niya medyo arched, but I'll just keep mine a bit straight. One of the things I love about Coraline is that the characters in Coraline are very relatable. Yung dalawa sa baba, performers sila before. Alam mo hindi na naka get over sa fame. Ganun yung mga characters nga sa baba ng bahay nila Coraline. They were stuck na parang sobrang conceited sila. They're all about themselves. They don't listen. Parang silang yung mga tita na nakakainis sa mga reunion na yung tipong sasabihan ka na bakit wala ka bang boyfriend, yung mga ganun. Those are some of the characters. I don't remember all the characters right now as I do my makeup but I will bring them up when I remember. So yun nga, lumipat sila Coraline in this new house. Coraline was left wandering in the house. She was home alone. And so as she was going around, she saw this door against the wall. Nakalak siya. 
So, syempre, kinalit niya yung mom niya na, hey, can you give me the key, blah, blah, blah. So, of course, because the mom was busy, she just gave the key and asked Coraline not to bug her again. No umaga, Coraline opened the door and she didn't find anything. Instead, there were bricks. That same night when Coraline slept, she dreamt about it. And she was being led by mice. The mga circus mice ni Mr. Bobinski. There was this tunnel that led to another dimension. So she went in. She went through the tunnel and found herself in the same house. But things were different. I'm gonna go much darker with my brows this time. I'll use black. Everything was much happier. The other house had the same furniture. Everything was the same except for the people in it. Coraline kept on walking around this other house and found her other mother in the kitchen making her food. Now mind you, in the real world, walang time yung parents ni Coraline for her. Her real mother didn't cook for her. It was a dad and Coraline hated his cooking. The people in this other house had buttons for eyes. Yun palang super duper creepy. Parang lahat ng tao don is the other something. The other father, the other mother, the other YB. YB is another character in the movie but he didn't really exist in the book. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of concealer. Okay, this is Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. All the characters in Sitotoong Buhay and in the other house are way better. Like, they're upgraded versions of themselves according to Coraline. YB is very talkative, says a lot, annoys Coraline. In the other house, wala siyang bosses. Kasi nakatahe yung mouth niya. It's very creepy. That's how Coraline would want it. Na hindi siya masyado nagsasalita sa totoong buhay. Pero it's kind of twisted in the other house. Although, natupad nga yung gusto niya. It's just wrong. You know? Like, who does that? Who sews lips together? The other mother would. I'll start with Sunny's face. Fluff matte in the shade birthday. In this other house, the mom cooks for her. The dad plays the piano and doesn't work and only gives attention to Coraline. See why hindi nagsasalita. See Mr. Bubinski trains his mice well. Hindi naman naka smoky eyes yung baba ni Coraline. But, you know, I want to. I've been wanting to try this eyeshadow palette from Ever Villena. This is their chocolate palette. It's been a long time for me, I'm just going to play it for a while. For a day or two, Coraline's gone back and forth from the real world to the other apartment. And then one day, the other mother offered for her to stay there forever, but she had to have buttons sewn on her eyes. I'm gonna go in with a darker color. Very easy lang tong look na to. Thank you, Coraline, for making your makeup look easy. One of the most important characters in the story is the cat. And this cat doesn't have a name, and I love why it doesn't have a name. Sabi ng cat, hindi daw siya katulad ng mga tao na hindi alam kung sino sila. This black cat is so wise. The other mother asked her to stay, but she had to have buttons sewn on her eyes, which she didn't want. She definitely enjoyed her time in the other house, pero she was smart. Coraline was very smart. She knew what the, the other mother was trying to do. For her to have buttons on, on her eyes, that would mean ibibigay niya yung soul niya dun sa other mother. And she was helped by these other kitty ghosts. Kitty ghosts. I'm gonna line my eyes, but just with powder. Just with a flat brush and powder. Konting, konting lang. See? Soft lang. Also, if you're the type who doesn't like cat liners, this is magic. God, what year did I start watching Coraline? Before, wala pang Netflix. It wasn't available sa mga online streaming sites. I had to watch it sa DVD. So, Jim bought me, I think about three. Kasi it's either nawawala, nagagasagasa, sobrang paulit-ulit. He even got me one that's in 3D. I am gonna contour. I'll be using Australis AC Contour Contouring and Highlighting Kit. Lighter than light. Complexion. Coraline she went back and then when she went back to the real world She found out that the other mother already got her parents the other mother just held them hostage because the other mother could only fool kids kids who are not Satisfied with their life and see that's the thing about Coraline But you'd think that it's for kids, but there's so many lessons you can learn from it One of which is to be content with what you have the book really wasn't for kids the book wasn't for kids. Uh, where was I? Yun! 
So the other mother held her parents hostage. She was alone for a couple of days and she was sad and of course she was scared but she was thinking of how to win. Bumalik na naman yung cat, yung black cat. Very wise tong cat na to. The cat helped Coraline and you know, I'm <laughs> you just have to watch a movie so you get what I'm saying and I'm not really much of a good storyteller. You just go on Netflix and search Coraline or if you want assistance, the link is right in my description box. At the end of the movie, you kind of realize that Coraline, uh, most importantly, it's to be content with what you have. Coraline knew herself, but she was always looking for something more. Like more from her mom, more from her dad. Again, this is not only for kids. I mean, if there are parents watching Coraline, you would probably realize things about yourself as a parent. Like maybe if you don't give your kids enough attention. Enough money. <laughs> For enough money, mapupunta sila dun sa other mother. Give attention. Know what matters most. I'm going to put just a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use Sunny's Face Brunette. One of the new fluff mats in the new dish collection. So I'm gonna put just a bit here. Kind of put that where the contour sits. The movie was produced by Tim. Was it Tim Burton? Ga? Oh, if you didn't know, the book is written by Neil Gaiman. Yun, I read the book twice or thrice but i've seen the movie so many times i don't even know how many times i've seen it like i've seen it sober i've seen it intoxicated i've seen it when i was happy i've seen it when i was sad i have friends who hate the movie well they love the movie but they're scared she hyperventilates when she watches the movie i'm so excited to be Coraline this halloween because i've always wanted to be Coraline on halloween but something always happens it's like my hair's not blue enough, or I don't have her jacket, or we didn't go out at all on Halloween. I'll start with birthday. Coraline has very thin lips. I'll just go with my actual lips. Brunette this time. Gusto ko magaran ng black cat because of the movie. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I'm gonna coat it with mascara, and I'm gonna use L'Oreal's. Voluminous Slash Paradise, all chewed up, of course, <laughs> courtesy of Chandler. I swear, look at my things. They're all chewed up. I don't have a liner with me, so I'll just use powder. I'm gonna ombre a bit. This is Sunny's face. <laughs> Tingnan mo naman, no? May laway. Ibig sabihin, <laughs> Ibig sabihin alam mo na, no? Chandler tried. This is boysenberry. I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner corners. Oh, ganda ng combination. Love that. Coraline has freckles. I get to play with freckles again. So I'm gonna use Sleek Makeup's Matte Me in the shade Hazelnut Crush. Get the tip. I have a story. <laughs> I had a band for a night and Siyempre, anong pangalan namin? Coraline Jones! I'll put a little bit here. Because her lips are darker. As you can see, her lips are a bit dark. Hindi magiging kumpleto yan without the blue hair. And I finally have blue hair just in time for Halloween. I think that hindi na ako nagiging Coraline dati kasi saktong hindi blue yung hair ko pag Halloween na. She has a dragonfly na clip. But I don't have that. I have two options. In some parts of the movie and in some photos, she wears a yellow raincoat. Ta-da! And then I also have the black uh, leather jacket. Dun sa cover niya kasi parang nakastripe siya na red and orange. Or was it red and black? And then she was wearing a leather jacket. I mean, what kid wears a black leather jacket? Coraline does. If you don't know where to get your blue wig, just get it from Miki Galang Hair. I'll put the link in the description box below. If not, just bleach your hair and dye it blue. All my hair colors are from Rainbow Head PH. I'll just wear the yellow one. I think that's more iconic. Let me get my prop. That is it for this Coraline Jones inspired makeup. If you're gonna recreate this, or if you're gonna watch Coraline, or if you're gonna get the book, please tag me so I know, so we could 
talk about Coraline and tell me your thoughts. Did you love it? Thank you so much for watching and you stay weird.